Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in the Scunthorpe. My name is Byron and I'm here to show you this 2013 13 plate Audi A5 2 litre TDI S line Cabriolet finished off in Methos Black. First things first, we'll do a quick walk around of this vehicle and then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again but in greater detail. We just call these videos brutally honest as they give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them or not prepared to do to them prior to sale. And they are used. Uh, to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop prior to collection. This vehicle will be coming on the private plate that you can see. And we're back around to the start. So we're going to start looking over the car panel by panel at the near side front. So the near side front wing looks in good condition. Near side front door has one tiny little parking dent just behind the front wing that will be professionally rectified prior to collection of the vehicle and the near side rear quarter again just one small parking dent that will be rectified prior to collection near side front alloy in good condition but with light curbing around the uh, the top edge as you can see there this will be professionally rectified or uh, refurbished should i say prior to collection of the car near side front tire as well on approximately five or six millimeters of tread Moving down the near side to the near side rear alloy. Good condition alloy, light curb marking to the outer edge again. And we've got a little bit of corrosion just around the valve there. So this refurbish will consist of this outer edge here. Uh, we're unable to do anything with this corrosion around here. And the near side rear tire is approximately five millimeters of tread again. Looking back down the near side, making sure we've not missed anything. Near side rear quarter. Looks in uh, good condition, just that one dent uh, just behind the door, as you can see there in the reflection, uh, that will be rectified prior to sale of the car. We've got a couple of light scratches just along this panel, as you can see, that will be polished up and touched in prior to sale of the car. Near side door, in good condition, just that one dent mentioned at the front, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle, so we're checking out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Rear bumper itself looks in good condition. Not many marks at all along the loading area. Just one light mark there that we polished up and touched in. Uh, and just a couple of little bits along the bottom. Just tilt the camera down and realize you couldn't see. Just there. The tail lights and tailgate in really good condition, as you can see. And I will show you the condition of the roof at the end of the video. Offside rear corner now, looking towards the offside front. Offside rear quarter looks in good condition. Offside uh, front door looks good, and the offside uh, front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy are in good condition with only very light markings to the outer edge, and the offside rear tyre approximately four or five millimetres of tread remaining. Moving down the offside of the vehicle now, we do have one light scratch just along this door here uh, that will be professionally refinished prior to sale of the vehicle. Offside front alloy, good condition with light curbing around the outer edge that will be refurbished. And the offside front tyre, approximately five or six millimetres of tread remaining. One final look over the bodywork from offside front to offside rear. Offside front wing looks in good condition. Offside front door looks good, just that one scratch that's going to be professionally refinished. And the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the vehicle now. So we're checking out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. Front bumper itself looks in good condition, other than the odd chip and mark that will be polished up and touched in, as to be expected on a car of this age and mileage, but otherwise looks in good condition. The main grille looks good. Full parking sensors on this vehicle that you can see are inset in the bumper. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, the paintwork on the bonnet is in good condition. Only things to note are some light chips along the front. Again, as to be expected with the age of mileage of the car, but these will be polished up and touched in with a genuine Audi touch up pen prior to sale. Now, moving to the windscreen. Uh, the windscreen looks in really good condition. Barely any even surface marks to note. No chips, no cracks. Nice condition windscreen. So now we're going to start making our way through the interior of the vehicle, starting in the boot. As you can see, all the plastics and rubbers in good condition. There is a set of mats with this vehicle. Obviously a set of number plates. 
boots are quite sizable. This section here does pop up to give more boot space, but uh, you cannot operate the roof when that is uh, folded up. Now moving through the interior, I can just pop the camera over into the back seats. As you can see, really nice condition leather. So we've got two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts. And I do not believe there are any ice fix fittings in these vehicles. As you can see, very, very slight impression marks on the leather. But we've got no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no burns, no trace any odors at all. Moving through into the front, door cards in nice condition. S-line kick plates, and we've got the S-line sports seats, full Napa leather in really nice condition. Bulls are still firm, holding their shape. Again, no excessive wear, no burns, no trace of any odors or anything like that. Climbing into the car, I'm just gonna run you over the passenger seat as well. Again, really nice condition. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. I have just noticed there's a hairline crack in the offside wing mirror. This wing mirror glass will be replaced prior to sale of the car. So we'll start the car up, starts really well, and we'll run you through some of the spec. So there's the roof control in the center. We'll run through that at the end of the video. All your MMI controls in the center, and we'll run through those now. Six speed manual transmission and electronic parking brake dual climate control and air conditioning, full parking sensors on the switch just here with optical display. In the MMI, we've got some radio options consisting of FM, MW and LW. In media, we've got Bluetooth audio and a few other options that you can see there, including telephone connectivity and satellite navigation. Moving across to the driver's door card, we've got full electric windows with electronically adjustable and heated side mirrors, central locking controls in front of the door handle, automatic lights and wipers on this vehicle and we're finished off with this s-line leather bound multi-function steering wheel and this vehicle is on 76,767 miles before i let you go i'm just going to go through the full roof operation and show you how slick and fast these roofs are When you get the final beep, it means the operation is complete. There we have it, all the windows are up. We'll jump out and end the video outside. As you can see, really, really nice condition, soft top roof. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding any of our cars or would like to book a viewing, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you again.